Hello survivors and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. We are playing Ark Survival Evolved today, Genesis Part 2, and we are on Xbox official servers. And I think it's about time we spoke about Star Dolphin. So I'm sure you've all been pulling your hair out, throwing your controllers and getting really angry, threatening to quit Ark over this mission. I know a lot of us have been. But one of the members of our alliance has actually managed to do this on official servers on Alpha difficulty. And he's been kind enough to share with us the footage of this and some tips and tricks to help you get through this. So I'll go through the general tips with you now that he's given me. So he used a mouse and keyboard for the first bit, you know, the maze bit of the mission. And then he switched back to controller in space because he, because he is more comfortable with the controller. He thinks it might be possible to do the first bit with a controller on Alpha, but he is skeptical on official servers what with the performance issues and stuff you know so point two if you're willing to use the mouse and keyboard he said it's good to press escape and center your cursor on the screen while you wait for the mission to start then hit escape again because if you don't when the mission starts your dolphin will fly in whatever direction the cursor was last at so that's something to bear in mind now point three if you've ever had an issue where the mouse won't move your view uh, around then press escape two times Apparently this happens every time he finishes the maze and gets actually into space. So four, server lag is the biggest obstacle on official for this mission. If you have a big lag spike and rubber band back, you won't be able to shoot for about 20 seconds, but you can use grenades for some reason. So that's quite handy anyway. And then tip five, you tap the grenade once to shoot it. And while the grenade is in the air, you can tap the grenade button again to detonate it in midair. Uh, that'll be left trigger on controller and we believe it would be right click on the mouse. So tip six, the run that he did was, uh, he said it was sloppy and he made some mistakes but he thinks it, it's quite good because it shows that you don't actually need to be 100% perfect to actually get it done. Okay and the last point he's given me here, point seven, damage buffs. Right, they have three levels. So level one, you don't have a damage buff, you'll deal 50 damage a shot. And then uh, the level two, you'll have a white buff for 60 seconds, and that will mean that you're dealing 100 damage a shot. And then damage buff three, you've got a green buff for 45 seconds, and that will mean you're dealing 300 damage a shot. And this is to the master controller's shields. Uh, the damage is lower to the skiffs, unfortunately. So there are the general tips. I think it's probably about time for us to head to the mission and see how he gets this done. Before we head over there, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content because we have plenty more coming your way. Right, let's go. Okay, he's in and ready for the first stage. So this is the firewall stage. He has given me some tips and some general tricks to help you get through each stage. So I will be reading those out as we go along. So for this firewall stage, what he has said is that on official, especially if your aim isn't good, that it is best to charge up the shot rather than use the laser, um, as long as you get your aim in the general direction of what you want to hit. Now you can see here he is prioritising the turrets because they give you the most points. So it's always best to go for those when you're hitting over anything else. Doing really well. He said that grabbing the grenade upgrades as much as you can is important during this section. He's, he'd say always grab them over anything else unless you like really desperately need the health and this tip is huge because once he started doing this this is how he was finally able to beat the whale section. Now this part is hard at first when you first start but once you get the path down it's not too bad at all. Uh, he has told me to tell you to try not to run into any drones or turrets. Uh, that's the main, main reason that he actually dies during this part, and that is usually because of server lag. It just won't let him shoot, which, you know, that happens. And this is why I don't have the patience for this mission. Another point he's given me is when you get near the end where the second firewall is, there will be a skiff really important that you destroy that skiff because if you can destroy that 
then that will make only one skiff spawn during the first whale phase. So that will make the first whale phase a lot easier. So with this skiff here um, coming up at the second firewall, if you just hit it a few times with the lasers and one grenade, you should destroy it. It's usually best to tap right click once to shoot the grenade and then tap it again to detonate it right on the skiff because sometimes it will just fly right through it without hitting it. So that's something to bear in mind. So yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are getting on with this. Are you able to do it with the controller? Or are you struggling a little bit? And what difficulty have you managed to do it on? Right, we've got this skiff coming up shortly. You'll see it, there we go, there it is on the left. So that's the one that you want to try and destroy if possible, because that's the one that will stop the skiff from, um, the second skiff from appearing in the first phase of the whale protection. Nearly there now, not too far to go. And I must say, our Alliance member has done incredibly to do this on Alpha. Little uh, flourish of the, of the uh, dolphin tail there, all excited, done the first phase. Now we enter the whale protection section. Ah, that rhymed whale protection section. So at this point here, if you press, if you're using the mouse and keyboard for that first stage, you'll want to press start here and you will have an option to disable mouse and keyboard. So that is what he has done here. And uh, in his opinion, this is the hardest part of the mission. He failed more times on this than any other part of this mission. And it did take him around eight hours to do this, trying to get this on alpha. So it is, it's very difficult. So uh, yeah, kudos to anyone else out there who has managed to do this. So he's given me some points for this phase, obviously, as well. The first one being that the skiffs don't do any damage to the whale, but you won't progress any further until they are destroyed, so putting damage on them is very important. Any second not firing is wasted time, is what he's said. And he'd say shooting the skiff is probably the least important because the drones and the asteroids do more damage. Um, he does. He likes doing the charge shot the most here, but the laser might be a bit more powerful, so um, you'd have to sort of try that out and see which one you prefer, I guess, here. Uh, the drones need to be kept at a minimum, because the drones don't do much damage, but if they're piled up or left alone, they can definitely pile on a lot of damage, so destroy those any chance that you get. He's doing incredibly. So these asteroids, now these are the most important thing to destroy, they deal 1000 damage each. So shooting them without a damage buff is a bit of a waste of time. Um, what he has said is that he likes to use grenades on them and he feels like using them saves time so you can put more damage on the skiff. That's why he said collecting grenades are key. And uh, once he did that he was able to beat the whale part, before that not so much. So, However if you do have the damage buff and time he said to try and conserve your grenade by firing on them with the laser. In a pinch and if you have health buffs around you can just run into them and destroy them if you're good enough. Yeah so you know like you can roll into them and destroy them and not take any damage at all but it is a bit buggy on official doing that unfortunately. Let us know what your experiences are with these in the comments because uh, I would really, really be interested to know. So this part is pretty much a balancing act. You need to be able to find the right amount of balance between firing on drones, firing on asteroids and firing on skiffs in order to succeed and keep the whales safe. You can see him here going nuts, fighting off all these baddies. Oh, they're trying to hit the poor whale. For me, that maze bit is the most difficult bit. The bit at the beginning. I don't know about you guys, but it's because of the lag and the instability of the servers at the moment. It just... It's so difficult. I, I really can't... I don't understand how Warren's been able to do this. I'm going to have to watch this video many, many times myself to figure it out, as is the Dino Lord in order for us to actually be able to do this on Alpha, on these official servers. Because it's just insane. I've seen a lot of people sort of um, asking for help. They're so desperate at the moment that they're even... This is Gamma is what I'm talking about. People are actually offering people to 
go in on their own Xbox accounts to be able to complete this for them because they just want to be able to do the boss and they, they just said there's no way they're going to be able to do this which is such a shame it really is I mean I'm lucky I've got the Dino Lord so he's very good at racing and stuff so but even he he won't try this on beta yet he's probably gonna have to try the mouse and keyboard for the first bit I think so but he has done Gamma both his profile and mine but uh, even he struggles with it so like I, I don't have the patience unfortunately and I'm not ashamed to say it to continue through the amount of times you have to do it through all of the lag and all of the rollbacks and snapbacks and bugs before you actually get a run that's smooth I no I, I don't have the uh, the patience for that unfortunately how about you lot let me know do you have someone a close friend or a partner who can actually just sort of take the reins and do it for you are you lucky enough as me I'd like to know The asteroid's probably close to me. Why are they attacking a space whale as well? Yeah, that's so shady. Poor space whale. Actually, they're not really good for much. Do any of you guys actually use your space whales for anything? It seems to be a lot of people just sort of have them on their base as decoration or lageration, maybe. But that seems to be the, the only sort of thing that they have them out for. So I don't know. We just keep ours in cryopods. When there comes to an event, the Dino Lord usually likes to go out and tame them with his cannon and his mech. But uh, then we just put them in the cryopod. Or use them for trading. They're always really handy for trading. As people seem to like to have them, so... These phases seem so long, don't they? So long. so long to persevere and concentrate for this long. He's done a fantastic job here, I, he really has. He's blown our minds with what he's been able to do here. I think there's a couple, a couple of people on our server who have managed to do it on off. I think maybe three are on the leaderboard, but uh, I think that is about it. Have you guys tried this on maybe a single player or unofficial? Is it a lot smoother on there? I would like to know. We've only ever tried it on on the official servers ourselves. I know um, our Alliance member who managed to do this, he did practice in single player at first just to get the, um, the hang of it before he came in and did it on official. And he said it was a hell of a difference transitioning from single player to the official server. This is just... Uh, just not quite the same, is it? Let's face it. I'll be honest, until I watched this and read his notes, I actually didn't realise that the skiffs weren't doing any damage to the whales. I assumed that they were damaging it the whole time. So it's always handy to know that. I mean, like you said, you do need to obviously put damage on them because the the, um, the phase won't end unless you've actually taken out those skiffs. But it is good to know to not have to worry that they're doing damage to the whale. Picking up all of these buffs, which is really handy. Really handy. And to do this solo as well. Absolutely incredible. Any other missions that you guys are actually struggling with? Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're struggling with. Um, I know the Dino Lord seems to find the Enforcer race quite difficult, in, on Alpha anyway. Um, when it doesn't sort of, um, it doesn't climb when it's supposed to and you know, it's just a bit of a bit buggy, so he, he's struggling a little bit with that one. So let me know if there's anything else that you guys are struggling with, perhaps. Maybe we can um, find a way to do it, and one of us in the Alliance perhaps could do it, and see if we can get this video, get a video out to you guys of us doing that as well. I think we're all going to be watching this and trying to replicate what he has done here. Failing that, maybe he'd be quite happy for us to uh, 
you know, let him into our accounts and he can do it all again for each one of us. All, how many of us? Two, three. Yeah, there'd be five, five more times. How would you mind doing that for us another five times? I'm sure you'd be quite happy to, wouldn't you? I'm not so sure he'd be too happy to, to be honest with you. This seemed like one hell of a ball ache. I mean, eight hours just to be able to get it done. That's just crazy. I, I actually think it's a bit nuts that um, they expect you to do all of these sort of the races and this mission, especially when it's just so sort of um, buggy that you have to do it for eight hours before you get a clean run, basically, <laughs> you know, uh, before you can even go and do the boss, which uh, I just find that so insane that they could put out something that's kind of broken and expect you to persevere with it in order to be able to do the boss. Uh, and I'm not keen on that. Like the dungeons, fair enough, they're amazing. Absolutely awesome. The brute hunts, things like that, love them. Um, and I did, like on Genesis 1, the races were awesome. Once they were working, once we played them on the Series X, oh, I just, I really, I do Saber Salem just for fun, like, you know, because they work. They, they didn't work so much on the Xbox One X. Um, I didn't actually even try them until we got the Series X because they just looked so horrendous and the Dino Lord and Warren both did do them but I don't know how, I don't know how they did that, that's insane. So yeah, but the races on this, they're just, they're just so um, infuriating I think, infuriating with the performance of the server. I think there does need to be some sort of an allowance for that. Which, I think they are looking into for the canoe race, I heard at the latest patch, but we could kind of do it for all of them really, couldn't we? You know, but we'll have to see. I mean, you never know, over time perhaps it'll get a bit, um, you know, that they'll sort things out and it'll make these a bit more playable. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about that, that's just my, my personal opinion, you know, because I mean, I love ARC, I really love ARC, but I, I absolutely detest some of these missions. <laughs> I just can't help it. I just can't help it. It's just, uh, it's, it's too much. I really admire our uh, Alliance members' dedication to be able to do this, because, well, I just find it insane. What do you guys like with things like that? Are you, would you sort of persevere for eight whole hours in order to just get something done? Out of sure, sh sheer willpower and determination. Oh, the dolphin's safe! Fantastic! Here we go. And here's Rockwell's super virus. I have some notes for this one too, so I shall uh, give them as we go along through this phase. So, our Alliance member that did this, he actually thinks that this is the easiest part of the whole mission. So he only actually managed to get to him two times before he was able to beat him. Now he says that having damage buffs are extremely important during this part of the mission. So having two damage buffs on means you should do 300 damage a shot for the laser. So it is important to use them wisely and that sometimes it is better to wait to pick them up until after your damage buff is almost gone. He's also said to ignore the drones and whales as much as you can unless you need health or damage buffs. So to basically keep them there so you can farm them for the buffs, you know, when you need them. One thing to keep in mind during this phase is to make sure that you roll out of the way of the lasers around, you know, that he's shooting around out here. Because they can deal quite a bit of damage to you. Look <laughs> at Rockwell's ugly ass head. Right, so this guy has uh, damage phases, as you can see here. So you need to deal as much damage as possible during these phases. So it isn't a bad idea to weaken his shields and then wait until you get a full damage buff before you finish them and then start the damage phase. Because it seems that no matter how much damage you do, it stops at 25% health and then starts another phase. So he'll get his armor back on then once you've done 25% damage to him. So it is important to have a full damage buff when you break his shield at 25% and try to finish him off there. Uh, if not, the next phase he will do 
like a lock-on laser attack to your dolphin. And that is unfortunately how our Alliance member lost this, this fight the first time. So it is important to remember that. That is really dangerous. So when he shoots lasers from his eyes directly at you as well, if you can't kill him before the phase ends, then you need to go either under or above his head when that lock-on happens so that he can't hit you. Shields down again, time to get some damage on. Do you know what, I think this phase looks so good. I just wish it was a bit easier to get to it. Just look how fun that is. There's a lot gone into the design of this, isn't there? The design, the lore, everything. Just unfortunately not the gameplay running up to it, so a bit of a pity. Yeah, damage is going quite well here. So you can see that there is a, a buff that spawns over his head. That spawns like every 30 seconds or so. So it is important to grab that when you need it so that the next one will spawn. Still 22 minutes on the clock, so not too bad, not too bad at all. I must remember to ask how he has got his screen settings this way because I don't know about you guys uh, if you play on Xbox it might be our TVs perhaps but on the right hand side there where it's got your um, you know your statuses your health your stamina your food and all that stuff but ours is like cut off by like more than half we can hardly even see those there it's really bizarre and then it's cut off a little bit at the bottom as well so I'll have to ask what his settings are at so that we can try and do that too because it's a bit of a pain in the backside not being able to see. Right, we're down to one shield at the back of his head there. I do love the design on the master controller's helmet actually. I'd like to know who did that. It'd be cool to make a um, like a cosplay prop of it, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty awesome. Let's go for the health. Yeah, he's got this down to a T now, hasn't he? I suppose after eight hours continuously going for it though, you're going to be quite good, aren't you? So you can see he's he's got the buffs on now as well. There's not that big a timer on the buffs, unfortunately. Oh, here we are. Right. Oh, back to full shield again. Okay. Just gotta keep breaking it. Using that roll button quite a bit to help you to get around a bit faster to where you need to shoot him. The music is incredible actually. On most of these missions, I think, I really do enjoy the music. Might be on par with Aberration, I think, perhaps. Hmm, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Big fan of the music in this game. Except for the um, the music on the home screen, because the amount of times that we see that, hear that... No, not a fan anymore. Not a fan anymore. Hear that in my sleep these days. Especially the amount of times that you sort of get dashboarded when you're playing Genesis Part 2, that music just, uh, well, it sticks with you, doesn't it? Here we go, getting close now. Getting a bit of a distance and trying to avoid these lasers. You can see that the health buff has uh, reappeared near his head again. So it's important to note that that is always there. It does always come back. Shoot some of these drones, see if they can give him a, a damage buff. There we are, it looks like one's dropped something. I think it's health. Here we are. Pick that up. Uh, 
and start firing at his shields again. Very long mission this. Mind you, quite a few of them are actually, aren't they? What's your favourite mission so far on this, guys? I don't know if I could pick one. I quite like a couple of the dungeons. I think I think Code Red, perhaps. I do enjoy Code Red. We will have a video out for that soon as well, by the way. And also, actually, before we finish this mission, um, I wanted to keep give you an update on our build video. So there is a slight issue with my editing software not being able to load the, um, the length of the videos properly without uh, to jittering and glitching. So it's going to be a little bit more time. I may have to update my editing software, get some new stuff maybe in order to be able to get that out because we would like to do more videos like it in the future as well. So I'm having to look into that at the moment in order to be able to bring that video to you because there is just so much footage that uh, this program just can't handle it, unfortunately. I've tried and tried and uh, the main bits that I actually wanted to showcase to you guys just don't seem to be, uh, they don't seem to be wanting to load in and show properly that, for instance, you'll, you'll be just standing next to the skiff getting some materials out and then the next minute he's halfway through building a bit that I thought you guys might like to to know how he did, if that makes sense. It's a it's a bit annoying, but like a, there's a part of the build that a lot of people who have seen the picture for have asked how it's been done, and I'm not able to show them because the footage keeps skipping to where he's halfway through building it. So I will find a way. I'll find a way, and I will bring you that build video, and it will be worth waiting for. It really will. So it looks like what he's doing now is killing off some of these drones so that he can try and get himself some buffs, some damage buffs. Because the shields are quite low now, so like I said earlier to you, what he likes to do is get the buffs before he finishes the shields off in order to have those buffs active for the damage phase. So it looks like that's what he's doing here now, he's just trying to farm these to get one of them to drop that all-important buff. They seem to be dropping health buffs, but um, not as many damage buffs as you might like. Well, this has been done for ages, actually, has there, so... Come on, give him a damage buff. He deserves... Here we are. It's only a white one, so he wants to go for a green one. Phase 3 buff. Stage 3 buff? I don't know if I'm saying that correct. By the way, that's what he wants. He wants the green buff. And he might as well shoot the shields now. In between trying to shoot these drones for the for the damage buff. That laser's nasty, isn't it? Aha! Green buff! Right, you can go to work. You see, once you've got that buff, the difference in the damage that you do is insane. Oh, the shield's down! Okay. And he's still got 25 seconds of a buff left, so he just needs to keep firing on this guy's head. This is so cool. So cool. Come on, you've got this, mate. So good, so close, just a bit more, still got the white buff on, couple more shots, there's a lot of health this guy, bloody master controller, can't believe he's back. <laughs> right, done it, absolutely fantastic, so once you've done once you've actually destroyed him, you want to get out of the way before that head explodes because that is very dangerous. Yes! Mission accomplished! And there he has his score and... well, what can I say? That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you in any way at all, 
please consider giving the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have so much more our content coming your way have a great day guys take care